Let's talk trash infographic from U.S. Department of Agricultural, USDA. It's time to get serious about reducing food waste, feds say, from National Public Radio, NPR. Let's talk trash. Cut back on food waste and loss to save money, improve access to food, and protect natural resources. About 90 billion pounds of edible food goes uneaten every year. That weighs 123 times the Empire State Building. This costs consumers $370 per person each year. What you can do. Reduce wasted food in your home with simple shopping, storage, and cooking practices. Plan and save. Plan your weekly menus and make a grocery list. Does the list include foods that you already have at home? Buy only what you need and stay within your budget. Be food safe. Shop refrigerated or frozen foods just before checking out. Transport items that spoil easily in a cooler or thermal bag and refrigerate or freeze within two hours of shopping. Check for quality. The dates on a food package help the store determine how long to display the product for sale. It can also help you to choose a product at its best quality. Set storage reminders. Track storage time for different foods using the Food Keeper application. This tool will remind you when foods are near to the end of their storage date. Be organized. Foods are less likely to go bad when you use the older items first. Keep your pantry and refrigerator clean and organized so you can see what needs to be eaten first. Repurpose. Give leftovers a makeover when you reuse them in recipes. Add broccoli stems to a salad or blend overripe fruit into a low-fat smoothie. Freeze extra food. Donate. Many shelters, food banks, and faith-based organizations will accept food donations to feed others who need a meal. Recycle and compost. Instead of throwing out food, create a compost bin. Don't have a yard? Your city may help you find composting or recycling options that are right for you. It's time to get serious about reducing food waste, Fed say. Renee Montagna hosts. And here's a startling number about preventable loss. The average American family throws away a quarter of the food it buys each year. And in hopes of changing that, the U.S. Department of Agriculture and the Environmental Protection Agency have announced the first-ever national goal for reducing food waste. NPR's Allison Aubrey reports. Allison Aubrey, byline. The USDA estimates that America wastes 133 billion pounds of food a year. Now, to get a sense of how much that is, Agricultural Secretary Tom Vilsack says, think of a certain Chicago skyscraper. Tom Vilsack, it's enough to fill 44 Sears Towers. Aubrey, the Sears Tower is now called the Willis Tower, but you get the point. It's a lot. Vilsack, and basically it ends up for the most part, in landfills. Aubrey, where it rots and creates methane, a powerful greenhouse gas linked to climate change. And given how much water and energy it takes to produce food, the effects of food waste are even greater. To make Americans more conscious of this problem, Vilsack, along with the EPA and partners, including grocery stores and food banks, have joined together to announce a new national goal. Vilsack. Basically, challenge the country to reduce food waste by 50% by the year 2030. Aubrey. Vilsack says there are lots of ways to make this happen. Farms and grocery stores can scale up efforts to donate food. And in our own homes, lots of us can make simple changes that may help. Given our current habits, the typical American household tosses out $1,500 worth of food every year. Here's Dana Gunders of the National Resource Defense Council. Dana Gunders. It's like walking out of the grocery store with four bags of food, dropping one in the parking lot, and not even bothering to pick it up at all. And that's crazy. Aubrey. Gunders says a lot of what we toss out is still okay. We tend to take sell-by dates on food a little too seriously. Gunders. A lot of people misunderstand expiration dates. Aubrey. 
The dates stamped on food are really a manufacturer's best guess as to when a product is at its freshest, so... Gunders. Often the products can be eaten days, weeks, even months after these dates. Aubrey. Take eggs. They're usually good for weeks after the sell-by date, and you can actually test them. Put them in a bowl of water, and if they sink to the bottom, they're still good. Gunders says even food that looks bad may be okay. Gunders. Most vegetables that wilt can be soaked in a bowl of ice water, and that will crisp them up. Aubrey. And that milk that's gone a little sour? It's actually safe to use in your pancake or biscuit batter. Gunders. I had no idea, but actually cooking with sour milk is delicious. It substitutes for buttermilk. Aubrey. Now don't go overboard here. Foods like meat and poultry have higher risk of contamination. If they smell bad or look off, it's probably best just to toss them in the trash. Allison Aubrey, NPR News.